Welcome to the Watchman Channel. This channel is all about world news and Bible prophecy, pointing to the soon return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I am asking that if you can, to please help to financially support this ministry. If you feel led to pledge any amount of money, it would be extremely helpful and greatly appreciated. There is a PayPal link in the description box and in my pinned comment below. You can also donate using Cash App. My cash tag is dollar sign watchman 1963 thank you all so much for your prayers and support god bless first john 2 18 little children it is the last hour and as you have heard that the antichrist is coming even now many antichrists have come by which we know that it is the last hour there is a coming world dictator known as the antichrist who is foretold of in the bible who in the near future will control a worldwide government a worldwide monetary system and a worldwide religion. He will use surveillance technology to control the peoples of the world. Is he living now? Probably. Is the Antichrist already working behind the scenes to bring about his plan for world economic and political domination? It seems so. From all indications, the Antichrist satanic technology-based system is already being set in place. He will use technology to achieve and enforce his near total control of the world and its people, and they don't even see it coming. Revelation 13, 16 through 18. He causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads, and that no one may buy or sell except one who has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. His number is 666. It's official. The world is turning into a science fiction movie, I've got to tell you. Sam Altman is the bloke who created artificial intelligence business OpenAI, which then created ChatGPT, which everybody's talking about, which then Microsoft put $10 billion US dollars into. Well, Sam talked about it just a little when he was in Melbourne only last month with the Startup Network. I think people, countries, areas, whatever, who missed the last sort of innovation boom, everybody is now at the same place and it's a reset for all of us and that's an exciting time and you know like i think this is probably the, maybe the best time to start a startup ever um it's at least the best time to start a startup since the internet i think this is going to be bigger than mobile and like on the order of the internet maybe bigger than that we'll see so sam flush with cash and all those ideas is going for more innovation it's called world coin as if the world really needs another cryptocurrency right well, the hook is that you sign up for an ID and you get some world coin by scanning your eyeball, get this, on this device known as an orb. Your retina signature will forever identify you as a human being and not some robot trying to steal your wealth through cryptocurrency. That said, your retina scan presumably will live on forever in the digital universe to be used for God knows what. Remember Blade Runner? Do you mind if I smoke? It won't affect the test. All right, I'm going to ask you a series of questions. Just relax and answer them as simply as you can. Love that movie, way ahead of its time. Anyway, WorldCoin jumped around on its first day's trading. We can see here it's up by more than 15% now, making it worth more than 200 million US dollars. And then there's this push towards a solely digital currency that's happening. We saw a step in that direction this week with the ANZ Bank stopping with withdrawals of cash in some of their branches. Now, this is a good decision for ANZ, and I expect other banks will follow suit, but it's not a good decision for us. It also suits the government's move to a central bank digital currency. Let me explain how this is going to work. Cash will be phased out. And that process is already underway. It's no longer accepted for payment everywhere, and a Previous government tried to ban some cash transactions and even cancel the $100 note. But once everyone is used to a purely digital payment means they can simply flick a switch to move the monetary system to the blockchain. You will not even notice this until it actually impacts you. You see, blockchain-based currency is also a programmable currency. Government could theoretically limit your ability to spend your money in any way they want to. And they'd also have total control over your money. So you get a speeding fine. Eh, why wait for the check to go? They can take the cash directly from your account. What if you go to a meeting for the wrong political cause? You could have all your money frozen, for example. 
maybe you put something on social media that's deemed unacceptable. Well, it could be more than just your Facebook account that's stopped. A central bank digital currency is the ultimate tool of control. Make no mistake about it, central bank digital currency is not a monetary system. It is a social credit system in which the governments of the world will tell you how you can spend your money. We can see that Christians will be persecuted using this system as they will try and force believers in Jesus Christ to adhere to their evil ways. When Christians say no, they will turn off your CBDC account. I hope you see how the mark of the beast comes into play as Christians will not be able to buy or sell. Governments collude with tech giants to censor what you can see and say on the internet. They even want you to have a digital ID. This is kind of like a, a driver's license for access to the World Wide Web. Are you starting to see a pattern here? Government doesn't really care about you. The politicians care about power and the bureaucrats behind them, they only care about entrenching that power, no matter who gets elected. Our next story is something straight out of a science fiction film. Sam Altman, the founder of OpenAI, has started a new project which can gift crypto tokens by scanning human beings. You heard that right. The project is called WorldCoin. It aims to provide a unique world ID to humans. That will be done by scanning a human eyeball using WorldCoin's orb. It's a silver ball about the size of a bowling ball. The project has 2 million users from its beta period. With Monday's launch, WorldCoin is now scaling up orbing operations to 35 cities in 20 countries. Other users can secure their tokens by downloading the company's app until they receive access to the orb. Those who sign up in certain countries will also receive WorldCoin's cryptocurrency token, that's the WLD. The cryptocurrency aspect of the World ID is important. That's because cryptocurrency blockchains can store the World IDs to preserve privacy and cannot be controlled or shut down by any single entity. The project believes that world IDs will be necessary in the age of generative AI, which produces remarkably human-like language. The project adds that world IDs could be used to differentiate between real people and AI bots. The CBDC, or the Central Bank Digital Currency, is all set to go global thanks to the International Monetary Fund, which is working on a global platform for CBDC transactions. The IMF wants countries to agree on a common framework for digital currencies for two main reasons here. A common law will help in easy transaction of CBDCs around the world. A global framework will keep a check on unregulated cryptocurrencies. Speaking at a banking conference, IMF Managing Director Kristalina Georgieva said that CBDC could help promote financial inclusion across the world. She said, I'm quoting here, if countries develop CBDCs only for domestic deployment, we are underutilizing their capacity. For this reason, IMF is working on the concept of a global CBDC platform. CBDCs are digital currencies that are backed by a country's central bank. That's unlike cryptocurrencies, which are totally unregulated. Several central banks are looking at CBDCs as a potential asset. Reports suggest that 114 central banks are at some stage of CBDC exploration. Is digital currency a chip? Many people are wondering how these chips will further evolve, and if that will include them having to implant these chips on themselves to protect their money. Is this a sign of progress for humankind? The strength of a nation's currency is based on the strength of that nation's economy. This is the story of money, perhaps the end of money as we know it. Or is this the mark of the beast foretold in the Bible? And there's a religious argument around the mark of the beast, I'm the devil, etc, etc. So yeah, there's interesting groups out there who really don't like this concept. The mark of the beast will be an end times identification required by the Antichrist in order to buy or sell. Many end times prophecy watchers differ widely as to the exact nature of the mark of the beast. Whether the mark of the beast is an RFID chip, electronic tattoo, or some other device, Christians must be discerning. The Antichrist in the near future will use this technology for his evil purposes of tracking people and controlling their financial transactions all under the guise of worshipping him. The Bible gives us the most dire warning to those who take the mark of the beast and worship his image in Revelation 14, 9-11. Then a third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If anyone worships the beast in his image, and receives his mark on his forehead or on his hand, he himself shall also drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out full strength into the cup of his indignation. He shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels 
and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascends forever and ever. And they have no rest day or night, who worship the beast and his image, and whoever receives the mark of his name. The first of God's bold judgments is aimed specifically at those who take the mark of the beast and worship his image, as we read in Revelation 16, 1 and 2. Then I heard a loud voice from the temple saying to the seven angels, Go and pour out the bowls of the wrath of God on the earth. So the first went and poured out his bowl upon the earth. And a foul and loathsome sword came upon the men who had the mark of the beast and those who worshipped his image. The signs of Jesus soon return are so strong now, and the evidence is so clear that any person willing to accept the truth can see that the end of the world as we know it is near. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But God demonstrates his own love toward us, in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. These are the ABCs of salvation. A. Admit that you're a sinner. B. Believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died for your sins, was buried, and God raised him from the dead. C. Call upon the name of the Lord, and you will be saved. Jesus paid the price for mankind's sin. He has provided a way to spend eternity with him and the Father. All you have to do is believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. God has already done all the work. All you must do is receive in faith the salvation God offers. Fully trust in Jesus alone as the payment for your sins. Believe in him and you will not perish. God is offering you salvation as a gift. All you have to do is accept it. Jesus is the only way of salvation. That being said, we must repent of our sins. While repentance is not a work that earns salvation, repentance unto salvation does result in works. It is impossible to truly and fully change your mind without that causing a change in action. In the Bible, repentance results in a change in behavior. Repentance, properly defined, is necessary for salvation. One day, Jesus is coming. You may be at church, you may be at work, you may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready! Get ready! Time is short. Call upon the name of Jesus today.